everyone today we will learn how we can implement svm in matlab using a library named libsvm so first we have to download libsvm so the first search is the official website for downloading libsvm package as you can see here libsvm is available for different languages like we have java version matlab python perl and many more so let's download matlab version okay so it has directed us to this part and you can download it by clicking on the zip file i have already downloaded it it will be saved as libsvm 3.23 okay let's place it on desktop now let's open matlab okay so this is our downloaded file you have to go to matlab section so first we have to install libsvm for installing you have to write make and matlab command Okay, so it will take some time okay it's done so as you can see it's max completed successfully let's clear this okay so now we have to develop data sets according to the libsvm accepted format because it don't accept this format okay so in this data set the first column is our labels or the expected outputs and column 2 3 and 4 are our features so let's use this we already have our file htr we will save labels and this equation means that we are taking first column from top to bottom and it will be saved in labels as this now let's load features also for features also we write statement similar to this but in this we start from second column and up to the end now features are loaded so but libsvm wants us to give sparse features so for using this we can sorry okay. so we have to use sparse command for converting our features into sparse okay so let's see how sparse looks so this is the sparse format now we have to use lib svm write this it takes three commands first is the name by which you want to save your data set let's say we want to save it by name svm second input is labels and third is sparse features which we have by the name fs so now it will create a file with name svm here so let's see how this file looks okay, let's close them okay so this is the libsvm accepted format as you can see these are the labels and features are 
denoted by this one colon one the end second colon third colon okay so let's divide it into training and testing data so train oh sorry before this we have to let's clear this now for reading this our libsvm file we have to use libsvm read function and we have to put svm in this and our labels will be saved in y and our features will be saved in x as you can see y and this is x okay so now let's have different data sets so we will bisect it into training and testing data so let's so let's as we have 284 elements or 284 data we can give 200 to training and rest 84 to testing so this statement means that take 1 to 200 rows from y so by using this a training label will be created and so similarly we have to create training data this means we have to take from 1 to 200 row from x as you can see training data will look like this okay so now in similar way you can let's use test data will be from 201 to 284 it will be saved as test data now test label will be by similar thing 201 and this okay so now we have our training set and testing set now how to train them so for training you can type svm train and it will show you the way you can train so its usage says that you have to write this statement and it takes three parameters first is training label vector which is our train data or oh, sorry train label third is training instance matrix means the training data or we have train data and now for using libsvm options they have a list of libsvm options so you can use minus s and then you can type any number let's say we want to perform regression you say minus s3 and then you have to select which kernel you want to use let's say we use 2 minus t2 every option they have their default values like if you don't give r any value it will be a used as r is equal to 0 so let's see how we can use let's say model so i have already 
type in the all the values so training label it's our label vector this is feature vectors okay so minus s3 means we are using epsilon eps svr minus t2 means we are using kernel type of radial basis minus g or g is gamma function we have set this or c cost function we have used 1024 and epsilon as minus p 0.125 so let's see how it trains okay so it's trained so a model is generated with the name model now you have a model so how to use this model to predict values so for this you can write svm predict this so they have two usage first is this second is this okay see it also takes three features first is testing label vector that is test label this is test data this is model which we have generated this and libsvm options so here you can use if you are using regression you can use minus q as option so let's see how it perform um, test data so we have to write like this okay so as you can see this is test label test data model and libsvm options as minus q so by entering we have uh, our outputs in the file name predicted label test okay so here is the predicted values and you can see our test labels this so this is our original values this is predicted by svm and later you can use them okay so this don't provide us we have to use we have to replace here train data so we are using our model that we have generated using our training data to test again on training set so let's see so in this way as you can see now it's predicted level test has 200 values okay so okay so for optimizing svm because they have so many options as you can see svm train so it's not easy to optimize this so there is an option of grid search but it's not available in matlab version for grid search, for using grid search, you have to use Python version of libsvm. But you can also develop your own grid search by adding loop. If you liked it, please share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.